All right, good morning, everybody. Well, we're live in the front yard. AJ Petiti, it's always a pleasure. How's everything going? Wonderful morning, Scott. I love our new setup here. Right. This awesome. is fantastic. It's awesome. So it thank you. Makes life so much easier. Um, <laughs> no, it's, 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 we're professional. Yes, we time. are. So it only okay. took a couple of years. Um, so anyway, so <laughs> looking at the garden, uh, we got everything cleaned up from where we were about a week or two ago, uh, and things are great. So at home, just really go through, harvest, work as clean mm. as you can. You really don't want to let anything just kind of sit, break down, decompose. It just creates a lot of fungus. My cucumbers, I got to get up. Yeah, you those just, are all pretty much anything out. that's looking funky. Just get rid of it. But okay. herbs are still really producing. Tomatoes are great. It's been an amazing summer for tomatoes. So things are just looking really good. So just you know, try to get it as clean as mm -hmm. you can. But things are rocking and rolling. And then looking at your yard, especially as we're getting into Labor Day, temperatures are cooling. Right. It's really a great time to start looking at your yard, but also your lawn. Right. right. So looking at the lawn. You want to get your step four down. And they were really stressed. I mean, we had all that rain in the spring. We talked about this before. And then the switch flipped. Yep. I mean, then June, July, August, we've had bursts of rain. Things greened up and then everything just kind of dried out again. Yeah. And yeah. so there's still a lot of stress out there. So as you're going through, you know, if you've got big brown patches, go mm -hmm. through, rake out anything that's brown. We've gotten some moisture. Mm -hmm. um, put your step four down. So mm -hmm. it's now the time to just go ahead and feed. Right. And then if you're looking at overseeding, you know, we're through that big heat that we went through. Things are going to start cooling off. So you can go ahead and start overseeding now. And then if you've got patches, just use Patchmaster. But for overseeding, you really just, you either use a spreader or even do it by hand, just kind of fling the grass seed around on the grass right. and it'll work its way down. It's not anything that's really all that scientific. Mm -hmm. um, and then but, September's two days from now. Yeah, I mean, we're, crazy? We're, we're at Labor Day weekend. Right. Browns are almost here, <laughs> so excited. Um, so anyway, so looking at your containers. Mm -hmm. So as we're getting into fall, there's been a lot of annuals, you know, especially after the storms and after everything, just my containers, they were doing great and then everything got ripped out. Right. But if you're stressed out or damaged, you can just go ahead and take a look and do this. Like we just, I pulled out some of that scavola that was in here before, mm -hmm. but and I just popped in a mum, but like you can easily transition your containers into fall just literally just pull out anything that's looking funky and those are those decorative peppers you were talking about yeah right? so these are beautiful ornamental peppers and then you just pop them right in it doesn't take much to do and you can just put them one right next to each other this is a uh, beautiful kale mm -hmm. it's a great time of year i falls i love summer i love all the seasons but summer's great but fall's right. just a lot of fun and really just you can just pop these right in if you've got some open areas fill in with some gaps can you eat those peppers by the way they're a little spicy <laughs> I mean, when I say a little spicy, they're pretty yeah. spicy. Okay. But you can't eat them. They're, yeah. They are edible. They're not right. dangerous or anything. Mm -hmm. But there's so many fun things. You know, this was a Prince Tut that we planted. It only started off about this big. They really, there's a King Tut that gets like six feet tall. So these really do well. But, you know, some just fall mums, some peppers, kale. These are some petunias that they've bred, they've hybridized the, uh, the colors to really match in for fall. Okay. And so you just, a lot of really cool, fun stuff what getting ready. What is this here? Oh, this is a fall solotia. Okay. And so it's just really cool. It's got a beautiful color, it's vibrant. It almost looks like it's a plastic flower. It's yeah. so perfect the way everything is shaped. They're cool. But you can mix those in the mm -hmm. containers, like you can do all kinds of stuff. It's just time to have some fun with it. Here we are. Yeah. And it's another day and I can't believe we're heading into September and all that sort of thing. If your garden's still going, by the way, uh, still water it, Try to keep it going a little bit with the tomatoes oh, yeah. and everything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, make sure you want to get at least an inch of rain a week. Your gardens, especially if they're producing, mm -hmm. will need more than that. You want to water that daily. Daily, okay. If it's not raining, so it'd be in good shape. Really neat video that yeah. was uh, submitted to us, and uh, this is really cool. It's um, uh, it's a golden retriever kind of following the sprinkler oh. of one of our uh, one of our viewers watering their garden. So it's kind of neat. Uh, we'll put that on the website too. Maybe we can check that out too. So. Um, Kind of neat, kind Beautiful. of neat to see so people getting fun. outside enjoying you know, the weather as it gets a little cooler. Everybody wants to participate. Yeah. AJ, cool. it's always a pleasure. Thanks, Scott. All right. Jen, back to you.